Good morning, everybody. It's SRQ. I'm coming in to share a day in the life of me going to my lupus appointment. Right now, this is the first thing I did when I got up this morning. It's March 23rd. I started back reading my daily devotionals every day, you guys. I haven't read it in years. But I keep the same book, so this is what I do every morning now. Sometimes I skip. That's why I don't throw the book away now. It's still the same day of my appointment, which is the 23rd. I'm doing my plank, as you guys can see right here. It's real early in the morning, so I'm not talking much. I'm sorry if I seem kind of dry, you guys. Going through this pre-menopause thing is so blowing me. I know that I am. I was told by different doctors. Even my lupus doctor told me. And right now, I'm going through one of them on and off women things we go through every month sometimes man last for weeks even though i went and got it taken care of it takes a while for it to kick in tmi too much going on but that little surgery i had it's supposed to slow it down and then eventually stop it but it takes its time doing that so yeah i wanted to come in and show you guys what i did from the moment i got up until the moment I went to the doctor. So here we go. Enjoy the vlog, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And please give this video a big, big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. See you in the next vlog. Happy Sunday, everybody. Two hours later. Good morning, you guys. I'm at the hospital. I just recorded a whole vlog and it didn't even record under uh with my uh regular hospital internet on i don't know so hopefully this will record if not i'll just put it in with something else but i still got like 40 minutes for my appointment i just made it here it's wednesday you guys it's the 23rd i got a little sleep but i kept waking up going back to sleep waking up going back to sleep without the sleeping medicine because the sleeping medicine seemed like it's like keeping me up like I don't know I'm not gonna get rid of that but the other medication they gave me I threw that out it had me feeling like a zombie I don't like stuff having me feeling tired so they put me on new medication I'm you know was trying to adjust to it I gave it a week and like no they're gonna have to give me something else that's too strong for me honey and what else so I'm drinking uh uh, turtle nitro it's supposed to be ice but she said something about the machine but she said she could blend it and it's really good it's supposed to be ice but it's really good it's not strong it's not that sweet so I've been sitting here and enjoying it and I have my uh, cream cheese croissants that I love that they haven't had since I've been coming here the last few times. I'm so glad they had them. See, I covered them up with paper towels all over it. You know, I had to cover them up, child, because I don't want them getting exposed too much. I might lay them down. I don't know. I don't want them to get smashed. Okay, so what else is going on? It's snowing here again, look. I don't think you guys could see it in the emergency room is across the street right there. This the eatery where I come at you guys. This is where I'm sitting at wait on my appointment. But I'm feeling okay today. Not too tired, you know. I need to get this taken care of and my eyebrows. I'll probably get that done when I go get my nails did. I want to fix myself up to go out of town. It ain't going to cost that much. It'll probably cost like almost $20 for this and a lip. And then my nails. So it's going to cost some money, but... I don't go out of town that much, and 
I'm gonna treat myself and get me my eyebrows done, this done, and my nails did. But I'm not gonna get them long, y'all. I'm gonna get them real short because my sister says she gonna she want me to help her serve food. She want me to help her cook, and I don't want to be dealing with all them long nails and doing all that and cleaning, of course. But other than that, you guys, that's all going on. You will see another clip what I did since I woke up this morning. I don't want to keep this video too long because I'm going to upload it either today or tomorrow for you guys. I'm going out with my honey tomorrow, so I might show a clip of the food or something. Put a nice little vlog together for you guys every chance I get because after I do the giveaway, um, the next time you will see me, I'll be in Chicago. So April 1st is the day, you guys, that I'm going to announce the giveaway winner. So you guys stay tuned for that. And you guys have a blessed Wednesday. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.